This video is made possible by Practical Defense Systems, the best online security training at the lowest prices. You can start your security career today online at pdsclasses.com. Check them out. Hi, I'm Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for all of your support of Gun Guy TV. I'm very, very grateful for what you do. Now, one thing I did add recently in the uh, description of the various videos, and on YouTube it won't be in the description, it'll be the first comment pinned to the top, is a link to a page on our blog where I'm listing all of the affiliate links we have with various different companies, and certain of them do give you a discount on things. So if you'd like to shop in a way that will help Gun Guy TV and perhaps provide you with a 5 or 10% discount on what you buy, I urge you to click on that link that's in the description. It'll say get some great deals here or something like that. Uh, or in on YouTube, it's the first comment pinned to the top. Also, check out our Gun Guy TV Firearms podcast. It's on your favorite podcast player, and it comes out on the 5th and the 20th. And if you'd like, you can also check out these other places where you can find the videos just in case something happens to us on YouTube. YouTube is always a little iffy. Okay, what am I talking about today? Optics Planet was kind enough to send me this great wraps stock. It's the rapid adjustment precision stock for your AR. And they sent me also the grip. Unfortunately, they did it right before COVID killed all the ranges around me. And so it's been forever since I've been able to get the darn thing to the range and really uh, work with it. I spent a lot of time with it on this rifle. This is my California test rifle because it has fixed magazines so I can put stuff on it and California doesn't go wiggy about it. Now, if you're looking for a precision stock, I'm going to tell you right now, this is an excellent one. Stock fit, gun fit, is super important for certain types of shooting. For example, I'm a duck hunter and an upland game hunter and shotgun fit is everything because whatever gun you're shooting, if it doesn't fit you, your eye is actually the rear sight. You got a bead on the front, your eye moving right, left, up, down can throw your pattern one direction or another. So the length of pull, the cast on, cast off, the height of the comb determines where your eye goes naturally when you mount the gun. So shotgun fit is really, really important. When you're shooting precision rifle, the fit of the stock is very important for the same reasons. One, you want to make sure that the length of pull fits you depending on how you're shooting, whether you're shooting prone or standing or seated or whatever. That length of pull has got to be just right so that, again, once you mount that gun, your cheek, your eye, everything is where it needs to be and it's not going to move. You're not hunting for the optic all over the place. And that's why height of comb is also important because if the comb comes up to the right height, now your eye, you've got the length of pull is straight, the comb is where it needs to be, and you've got exactly the position you need to be in where your eye is going to be directly behind that optic each and every time. And you don't have to start fishing around hunting for the back of the optic so you can find the eye relief. That's why precision stocks are super important. If you're just getting a rifle for your family as a self-defense rifle, it might be too heavy for you. And a simpler stock, obviously, is a basic simple stock that's going to allow you to adjust the stock in and out, depending on whether you're getting in a vehicle, out of a vehicle, whether it's a small stature person, large stature person using it, whether you're wearing armor or not, you're going to adjust for those kind of things. And the, the type of fit that you would need out of, out of a precision stock is not necessary. That said, I'm very grateful to have this because on this rifle, I don't need it. What I need is one of these. However, you know, I have some parts laying around. I have this uh, upper and a big, gigantic, heavy barrel, and I've got this handguard. I just stuck them together for the purpose of this video. I haven't put it together yet. Pete and I are going to do that. This is going to be my varmint rifle, and this thing will drill, I suspect, a, a round well, uh, I mean, one on top of another at 100 yards, and that's what I'm looking for. And when I have a barrel like this for varmint hunting, then I'm going to be thrilled to have a precision rifle stock like this one. Because with this stock, with a flip of one lever, basically, and that's this one, I can adjust the, the length of pull. You can see it's spring-loaded. Now, I can find the position I like the most and lock it there so that every time I unlock the comb, it doesn't come jetting out. It'll, it'll only go as far as I set it. I haven't done that because I wanted you to see the full range of its adjustment. But I can also adjust the height of the comb a lot. So right about 
there and about there is where I had it adjusted for me the other day. But wherever I lock it down, that's where it's going to stay because that'll put me behind the optic. That will change because once we build the rifle, obviously we'll put a big monster optic on it and I'm going to need to adjust it for that. But having the precision stock is going to be brilliant. There's a couple other items about it. I was reading in the, I haven't done it to be honest with you. So I don't know, I can't show it to you done, but my understanding is I can reverse this put this lever on the other side so it's right, righty lefty, whichever is more convenient for you. And then on the bottom, there's a little cover here. I'll slide it off and I'll get you a close up. There's a, a little piece of Picatinny under here, a little rail under here. So if I want to use a, a monopod or something, I can use that and put the monopod in the back if I'm shooting from some sort of rest where I want that monopod. There's a few things about this stock beyond its adjustability that I can tell you I really like. And no, Fab Defense is not paying me anything to tell you this. I like the fact that it's kind of rubberized. Now, sometimes I don't like that because it grabs my clothing or grabs this or that. But in this case, because of what it's built for, I like that a lot. I really like the grip. The grip is incredibly comfortable. And when I have it, I have it. I feel like I got a great purchase on it. I've hunted in the snow. I've hunted in the rain. I've been out in miserable weather where everything is wet, me, rifle, gear, everything. And you don't want to have your rifle slipping and sliding all over the place. The same thing would be true if I flip it over for you and look, let you look at the back at the, the buttstock here. This is extremely grippy. Uh, now, that's not a technical term, okay? But it's really grippy. So when you've mounted this rifle, it's not going to move. It is right where you want it to be, and it's not moving at all. It's gripping your shoulder. You've got a firm grip here. You've got it, and you're going to be able to put the round where you want it to be. So in a precision stock, those are super important things. Now, obviously, it's got some places for, uh, you know, to mount quick releases for your for your sling or whatever you want to put in a few places and it's got some other goodies and doodads like that but the biggest thing that impressed me was the the, the speed with which i could adjust it for length of pull and height of comb the fact that i could set it to have it stay where i wanted it to stay once it's set so that every time i adjust it doesn't go boinging all over the place and the fact that it's really really grippy and it's extremely well made i have yet to receive a product from fab defense that doesn't have a, a feel of being extremely well made. The build quality in these things is awesome. So I do urge you to check them out. I'll put a link in the description, unless it's YouTube. YouTube's weird about links. I don't know why. I'll put that one in the first comment and pin it to the top and you can check them out. If you're looking for a precision stock, I don't know that you're going to find a better one. I, I really, I've seen them with different features. So the features may not line up. Maybe they will. It depends on what you're looking for. But as far as the quality of the stock is concerned and the features for me, Bueno. Well, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful week and wherever you go, whatever you do, stay safe.